Hey, welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. The last leg of our conversation is about sports and politics. Now, should political activism be brought into sports? That uh, one big question we're asking on sports with Wally Scott this morning. And that's because the English FA is unhappy with Manchester United's Paul Pobber's raising of the Palestinian flag after his club's final home game of the season. Pobba raised the flag with his teammate Amadiallo just as two other players did last weekend when Leicester City beat Chelsea to the FA Cup final. Uh, we're glad to have you again, Wally Scott. Now, the first question really is, should men and women, sportsmen and women, be allowed to express their you know, political uh, sympathy or political uh, leaning to a cause on the pitch? Honestly, for me, no. Um, yes, they have a right. They have their personal lives outside their jobs, yes. And of course, and they'll have their political affiliations in their houses. They'll have their whatever thing they support in their houses. But I think when you are a public figure, when you are in the face of the public consistently, there are some things you just let go. You don't bring them to the fore. We remember that um, Mesut Ozil um, got involved in the Turkey Germany row. His mother was Turkish. He played for the German national team, the Diemenschaft, and um, he got involved in going to Turkey regularly. The German team actually called him and said, listen, stop going to Turkey regularly. It's that bad. You're in the public glare. You play for the Diemenschaft. Germany and Turkey are in bad terms. And he said no, and he involved his, his career almost went down the drain. Arsenal refused to play him because Germany got involved in making sure he wasn't played. He eventually had to go back to Turkey left everything he had in, in Germany and sold them away. He now lives in Turkey permanently, now plays in Fenerbahce in Turkey. Um, what I'm saying is, you can have those things and keep them at home. Why? Um, I, I, the reason I'm asking is, um, I remember during the Entas protest, for example, everybody was excited. You know, people were, you know, drooling, you know, when uh, Nigerian players were speaking on behalf of the Entas protesters, when, um, uh, um, Igalo, um, you know, made a statement. Um, a lot of times, you know, we've also seen Naomi Osaka uh, speak with regards to uh, the Black Lives Matter. She wears, you know, their names on her shirt and on her face caps and all of that. LeBron James does the same thing. Yes. So why is it different when it's Palestine or when it's Turkey? What I mean is, even when it comes to Black Lives Matter, for example, I've always said that there are ways, it's, it's a different ball game when a whole team, like three of us here agreed to, we're talking against this this morning. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a different case when it's an ongoing war. Even Black Lives Matter, it, be, it actually became a case of a joint arrangement. You know, when you are in the public glare, there's something, for example, I have problems at home. I don't come to the office all frowning okay, on the program. Okay, Mr. I, I Wally, Scott, and smile. Wally Scott, I need, to, I need to make sure we, we, we have a clear distinction between a personal issue. You've mentioned this for the second or third time now. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict is not a personal matter. This is what's happening here now in Gaza is like one of the worst hostilities between Israel and Palestine in recent time. Lots of people have died and most casualties are on the Palestinian front. So pe other people will argue that Baba and his colleague Amadiallo are not wrong to take a stand, uh, you know, when it comes to the Palestinian conflict. I, I needed to make sure I that never we know go against that that's that. not a personal thing. The Palestinian-Israel um, issue is just the case study for this morning. The, actually, the, the, the study this morning is that should public figures bring their personal causes but other people what's the have. use LeBron of the, the, use of the influence that. that they have? Exactly. Thank you very much. If I'll, they, I'll if give they you a typical example. It. I will not be a political presenter and come on air wearing a PDP or an APC shirt. You see, you can't afford to take sides. I, I, I know of people who have, who, I know a particular person who um, ha, is, is a brand ambassador for an alcoholic beverage. He's mm -hmm. never liked it. But let me, let me never, that, that, that analogy doesn't even work. Because it if does. You, you, listen, you, you, if you're a political you know, presenter, if you're a news anchor, you, know, you do politics, and you're taking sides on political parties, it's different from being a sports player. You are a footballer. Now, no, it's, so, it's, so if you're, if you're, if you're a footballer and then... People, people expect... If you say you're a footballer and then you're taking you know, sides between FIFA and UEFA, that, that's a different thing entirely. I, would have, I would have actually preferred that. That would be taking sides but too. But that's all football. But you see, you know, in, but in, you, 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 it's a different analogy In this situation, the English football. FA, for example, let me stick their sides on this mm -hmm. one. The English FA are saying, we have taken you as a footballer. You are a footballer. Basically, you should face football issues. Let me give you an example. The manager of Paul Pogba and Hamad Diallo 
have been told now that why didn't you caution your players about what limits they can? You see, it's a thin line between what you can do as a public figure most times. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why we, we should get it clear. Okay. We're not understanding the fact that, for example, a player who says he cannot wear a, t a branded T-shirt sponsored for his club, he says he can't wear it because it's a betting company and because his, his religion does not agree to betting. Okay. After a while, he started wearing it because, you see, the truth be said, we are public figures, but there's a limit to where we can take our activism to. Okay, see, I think, I, do, I, think I think one thing we need to consider here is the views of the, of the people in those circles. Ole Gunnar Soaks just said he thinks, you know, they... They need to have players from different backgrounds, you know, people from different cultures, different countries. And what he's saying is basically is that they respect the views of Papa and they respect the views of any other pe person who carry out, who carry the Palestinian flag and saying that even, you know, two other people who carry the Palestinian flag saying they will not face any disciplinary action, saying they have a right to express their views. So really, there's, 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 there's a lot in this issue because number one, we're talking about the influence of these people. Nobody what would have been essence? going up against Paul Pogba at okay. this point, if he was in the confines of his room or with his family or with his friends, and they have a Palestinian. So basically, uh, you're saying no, that I don't, I don't Paul Pogba should not. I don't agree um, with that. Is on the job. You're saying what? Uh, you're He's saying a public figure. You're I don't agree saying with that, that the things that Ozil did, the things that you sorry, mm -hmm. apologies, um, that you mentioned that Ozil did, you know, were they done on the pitch? Ozil's case, no, and that's so, why the German government. We we are only saying this because we know from underground gist that the German government, companies like Adidas, got involved and said, listen, don't play this guy in the national team. If you do play him, not none of our kids should be on him. And the company actually kits them. So without being kits by them, he can't play. Can I, can I so ask a question, Wally Scott? Can I ask a question? If Papaba was on the other side of things and he was carrying an Israeli flag, would you, would you argue different? That's my point. They are saying that if you have to do, um, to, do to have to... Um, go against a particular course and everything, not in the course of doing your job. So, so then See, what is, what is the essence? Any flag. So, well, let's go. My simple question to you then is, if you're saying that a person with such influence has thousands and millions of fans around the world, if such a person should not be allowed to use their influence, then what, what is the use of having such influence if you're banned from, from exercising it? Doing it on your job is my problem. I don't see anything wrong with if Paul Naomi Pogba Osaka, goes on Twitter, Naomi Osaka carried on Twitter out her and activism says, on the tennis court. And Naomi Osaka has told the world, even forget that, even recently she was on in, on in the news saying that she doesn't think mm -hmm. the Tokyo Olympics should go on. You understand? But every match she has played in the last few weeks, she has been involved in opens, tennis opens so far. I have not seen Naomi wear a shirt saying, no, only Tokyo Olympic Games. No, but uh, that, that, the Tokyo Olympics... That's on her job. Tokyo, Tokyo, Tokyo Olympics is not political. I'm talking of the times when she wore the names of black Americans that have been killed by, by police during the uh, George Floyd, you know, um, sometime in 2020. You don't see the point. No, but it's, it's, it's the exact same seen... thing. She's doing it on the pitch. She's doing it on the court. Yes. It's a case of, will I be allowed to do this? Will this cause any serious issues? See, exactly. So why is, why is exactly. Hazard not causing issues? But why is Pogba not causing an issue? No. See, exactly. Pogba exactly. Is only, Pogba is not the only person involved in this situation. Ahmad Diallo is involved. Yes. So why that, is it? Two other. Two other. Two other. Two other. Two other. Listen. Listen. Great. So why are these four players? Why is it their own causing the problem? We are, when Black Lives Matter started, initially when it first started, mm -hmm. we knew people looking at us and said, "Listen, don't." do your activism on the course of the job. I have nothing wrong with it, Paul Pogba. I have my Twitter handle. I know what okay, I Okay, okay. You know, I know um, I stand on... See, quickly to issues. wrap it up, Wally Scott, I, I agree with what you said, right? Talking about what's the impact of your influence. Carrying a Palestinian flag, I believe that people who have influence, that's the reason why they have influence. They should be able to use their influence. If a child has been molested and I have a, you know, a, a, a big voice, I should be able to use my voice to speak out for issues that matter. I think the issue, just like I said, like, that I agree with you, is what is the impact of your influence? Because we know that, like I said, the Palestinian conflict with Israel is one of the... It, it's just a case it, study, No, hold on. It's a very big issue right now because we know that people have been protesting in Germany, in France, everywhere across the world, 
protesting in support of Palestine, right? And, you know, the conflict is ongoing and p international powers have been calling for a ceasefire. So the question is, since Paul Koba has used his influence now to preach for the Palestinian cause, what impact would that make? Would it help in dousing the tension or would it help or would it help in escalating it? I think that's where the focus it's should be. Not in saying they it's should not use that it's, influence it's, to speak it's when they can. It's obviously going to help. He has his, his fan base everywhere across the world. It's going to help the Palestinian did he, cause. Did he hold the flag and say, preach peace? He actually, or... he actually held the flag and did a run of honor around the field. Okay. After the match. So I think that's what really matters. What's the impact of your influence? It's not about... I, I mean, people who have influence nobody, should use nobody their influence. Say, don't fight for your cause. Don't use your, your platform or your fan base mm -hmm. to fight for your cause. Don't do it on the job. Mm. Well, that's that's you, that's like that's job. your that's your stance <laughs> um guys we have to wrap up here thank you very much wally scott thank for um sharing your thoughts you. with uh, you know, regards sports and political activism um here's where we draw the curtains on the final edition for the week on the breakfast and plus tv africa if you miss out on any part of our conversation you can catch up with us at plus tv africa on all our social media platforms and do subscribe to our youtube channel at plus tv africa and our new youtube channel at plus tv africa lifestyle i am anetta Felix. And I am Osaogi Ogbonga. See you at 9 a.m. Good morning. Bye.